Just on to the last question and it's around automation and AI and it's basically do you see a threat of people potentially losing their jobs in the next five years due to AI and uh, automation or do you see automation as something that's going to uh, sort of make people's lives easier? I know what my answer is for this from using certain products and um, you know just sort of seeing the change of I guess automation through IT over the last few years but um, yeah I'm keen to hear your input on AI and automation in relation to uh, job security. Yeah so um, definitely like a many layered kind of uh, uh, question uh, when you think about uh, the impact here. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think, you know, the place that I start is, you know, let's think a little bit about why there is uh, AI and automation uh, in cybersecurity. And um, going back to the salary report and the study that we did, there were two kind of interesting data points that I think help inform this. One was asking people how stressful their, their job was. Um, there's a reason they're getting paid well, right? Uh, you know, about. Yeah. 60% of folks say their job is stressful or very stressful. Um, and then kind of asking an opposite question, like, hey, what do you like most about your job? Uh, people said it was the challenging work environment. So, yeah. you know, if you can get that balance right, uh, then, you know, this becomes a very attractive career for folks and they tend to stay in it for a long time. Uh, and so I think, um, you know, automation definitely solves some of that by making the work more meaningful. Um, when I talk to people about what they think the impact of uh, machine learning automation is going to be on, on their jobs, I find the perspective that people have is really diverse. Um, I have noticed uh, some uh, correlation with the industries they're in. So if somebody's uh, coming from an industry where technology in general has helped that industry. Uh, so think of uh, something like, uh, you know, a lot of manufacturing um, where people work alongside robots and, and very successfully have figured out how to partner. Um, yep. There tends to be a lot more support by the security team, even if they're not out on the shop floor. Um, and for example, um, other industries, you know, not as, as uh, um, positive about the potential impact here uh, on their job. But to me, you know, talking to our customers, uh, where we have in our products uh, automation and we use machine learning, um, and I talk to them about what that's going to do to their workforce. I talk to them after they've deployed and used us for a year or two. Uh, and universally, they have come back and said to a person that our technology has not led to any layoffs in their organization. Um, what it has meant for them is is varied. Uh, for many organizations, it means they can, uh, as I was talking about earlier, they can uh, have the software take care of, you know, reducing false positives, uh, prioritizing alerts, uh, uh, reducing the amount of time it takes to do investigations or respond to incidents. So it helps them be more productive. Uh, um, That's exactly it. Uh, yeah. The other, <laughs> I, I find that to be the same as well. Yeah. Yeah. And then the other interesting answer that I get back is it's allowed them to delay hiring. Um, so we mentioned the shortage. Uh, so even if they have gaps uh, in their organization, they're able to take their time and find the right person or actually postpone hiring uh, because of the assistance of some of these tools. So um, I, I think it's it's generally had a very positive impact in the cybersecurity space. I think a lot of people look back and are like, why were we doing all this manual work? Exactly. And like going back, there was a lot more manual work than there was today. And it wasn't, well, I'm not a massive fan of reading through like pages and pages of logs. So um, I guess automation in that particular space has made my life so much easier. It's, um, I, I never want to look through logs again. I just want to filter it all out and make my life as easy as possible and basically just automate a report at the end. That's, it's much more worthwhile for someone like me in that sort of position than having to, you know, trawl through millions, if, if not more logs 
and try and find the bits that I actually want. It's um, I, I know that's like a really basic example of just like filtering, right? But um, I think it's a good example. It's probably, I mean, I think it, yeah, it's, it's probably you know, one of the most common. That, that, that is what a lot of people face when they're going through and, and having to um, look at the different alerts and events that are coming into their uh, into their environment and why we talk so much about alert fatigue in particular. 